Hello, human. Thank you for being on the channel. An investigative reporter must send the newly unbound pinhead and his legions back to hell. Why is it with white humans? They always want to mess with some shit they're not supposed to mess with. Or they want to open some shit they're not supposed to open. I don't know why that is, but if you would have had some humans with some sense in this movie, there's no way that you would get this plot. There's no way. There's no way. And also, there is a very interesting sex scene in this movie. I'm talking about it looked like something out of a softcore porn. And after seeing that disappointing sex scene in The Eternals, I, I, I was like, yeah, um... Some Sometimes in life, you just need better stuff where individuals understand that you need to make a sex scene entertaining. It can't just be two individuals lying there and then they just look like fish, like dead fish out the water. Like, nah, nah, that ain't the way. One of our main characters, at least for a portion of this movie, this J.P. Monroe. This man owns a club. He gets to dig down a lot of bomb-ass females every night. Life seems golden, as the humans would say. But he's also an asshole when he doesn't think things through. And he ends up listening to Pinhead. Bringing him some victims, if you will. And that enters our main character of the whole movie, Joey. Joey is an investigative reporter. Now, this actress who's playing Joey, she can't act to save her fucking life. But I guess she was trying to convince me and anyone that watches the film that she's trying to get to the bottom of something important. She's like, I can smell a mystery and I'm going to solve it. I'm like, yeah, good luck with that. Hope you don't get a chain through your fucking eye on a scale from one to ten. One being horseshit on a hot, smelly ass day and ten being mind-blowingly amazing. I'm going to give this movie a 7 out of 10. It's barely okay. Doug Bradley as Pinhead carries this entire movie. And Pinhead, he knows how to communicate with these humans. You have to appeal to their emotions. Because most humans, they have emotions. And if you know how to press the buttons the right way, if you can get inside their mind, you got them. You got him hook, line, and sinker. Pinhead makes that look so easy in this film. Great character. Shout out to Doug Bradley. And it seems like only humans that are truly innocent are safe from Pinhead and the Cenobites. But then there seems to be evidence to the contrary. It just depends on if it's a Tuesday or not. But for the most part, when they kill humans... They're fucking terrible individuals. They're trash. And most humans are trash in real life. So Pinhead would have billions of motherfuckers to kill. There's gonna be a whole there's gonna be a whole amusement park out there for Pinhead. And with that said, you get a lot of awesome kill scenes. So many humans die in this movie in a beautiful artistic way. I was like, yo, sometimes in life you gotta kick the feet up. Enjoy a glass of lemonade as you watch humans get killed. And then there's like a scene where you see a bunch of dead bodies piled on top of each other. It was a beautiful moment. I was just like, yeah, it just, uh, it, it, you shouldn't have been there. <laughs> you were in the wrong movie. <laughs> oh, man, that was so entertaining. Yeah, man. Pinhead, he be wilding out. He just, he just be letting these humans know. They be trying to play all these games and hide behind their pathetic emotions and all their masks that they wear and these shields that they put up. But they're all just the same vulnerable, weak-minded son of a bitches. And you can take advantage of that if you know how to control their emotions. You just got to figure it out. There's only a few individuals that are a master of that craft. And Pinhead is one of them. Terrence out.